Well, the co-leader of the Green Party, Sean Barry, joins us now from Westminster. Are you reassured uh, by these promises about uh, environmental responsibility? No, I mean, t in terms of its effect on London, on Londoners and our environment here, uh, it's complete greenwash. Having this ultra low emission zone, which will maybe reduce a little bit the extra traffic, we'll still see increases in pollution. Uh, we'll be delaying our compliance with legal limits on air pollution. And 300,000 Londoners will be affected by concentrated flight paths, over 700 new flights a day and noise, which has been shown to be terrible for people's mental health and, uh, and general enjoyment of life in the city. These are enormous impacts locally, but think about climate change as well. The act that was drawn up that passed through Parliament, allowing this to go through, um, and shame on all the MPs who voted for this when it came to Parliament, but that was based on the old climate targets of reducing our emissions by 80%. Uh, now that the Prime Minister's signed up to a new net zero target, now that Parliament's voted for a climate emergency, these expansion plans, these extra flights are in no way compatible with that either. It should never have got to this stage, but at this stage we need everyone in the country, every Londoner, to be saying no to these ideas. Well, you say shame on MPs, but, but don't you mean shame on air passengers because the demand is there? No, the demand actually, for, for example, for business travel isn't going up. What this is, is a business. We've got Heathrow wants to increase the number of flights that it can offer people. It wants to attract more people to fly when there are good alternatives. Um, it wants people to fly when there's no good reason to fly. And actually, if we're going to avert a climate emergency, if we're going to stop runaway climate change, we need to be substituting every single alternative we can for flying um, and trying our hardest not to fly when we, when we don't need to. Now, Heathrow's entire business model is based on encouraging people to fly more. It wants to expand in order to do that, in order to make more money. We need to be standing up against that and saying, no, in the interests of planning for a country for the future, we need to be investing in railways, we need to be investing in ways to, to stay in the UK and have great holidays and all of those things that they're trying to get us not to do. So obviously it's a moving target. We've heard from Heathrow that their, uh, their master plan is to reduce emissions both in the terminals and the vehicles bringing passengers to and from Heathrow and in the flights. I mean, what would convince you, if you're not convinced by today's uh, argument, what would convince you that they're going to be net zero? Nothing will convince me that this massive expansion in flights, and we're talking about nearly 60% more flights coming out of this airport, nothing will convince me that that can be compatible with our climate goals and the needs of people in London to live in a livable uh, local environment. So uh, they need to give up on the expansion plans. They need to be doing those measures on the flights that they already have. They need to be reducing the impact of people driving to the airport now. If they were doing all of that now in good faith and not asking for expansion, I think a lot better of them. But at the moment, it just seems driven by, by greed and this one business wanting to make more money uh, whilst trashing West London and potentially the, the planet so, in the so future. Those, so those um, arguments you made already, but so, so do you then support the um, proposals currently suspended by Extinction Rebellion, obviously a climate crisis group, um, to disrupt the operation of Heathrow? I have to say the use of drones around airports is a horribly dangerous thing and I'm very glad that they discussed those plans and dropped them. Um, but I think the, uh, the campaign, the Extinction Rebellion campaign, the disruption that's been taking place you know, around London, the fact that children have been going on strike from school to draw attention to the urgency of the climate crisis is a really, really good thing because it is very urgent. We do need to be looking at every aspect of our lives, um, you know, how much we encourage the aviation industry, but also how much we invest in the Green New Deal that the country really needs. Um, and those people, those campaigners out on the streets are pushing us in the right direction. Thank you very much, Sean Berry.